Well, the Tallahassee Symphony Orchestra will hold a performance this weekend to commemorate the historic Tallahassee bus boycott. The orchestra will be joined by FAMU's concert choir. That's right. It's called Walk in Dignity. It's based on the book The Pain and the Promise by Tallahassee's own Glenda Alice Rabbi. Our Kendall Brandt has more. My number one hero is Jesus Christ. Uh, second is my dad. And Moses and Dr. Martin Luther King run a, a tight third. Derek Steele's father, Reverend C.K. Steele, headed up the Tallahassee bus boycotts of 1956 after two FAMU students refused to give up their bus seats in May. A seven-month-long protest against the city's segregated bus system that ended with the Supreme Court ruling that integrated public transit. Before you know it, everybody was saying, let's have a boycott. And eventually they got my father to lead that boycott. My father and other leaders and ministers of the community organized what was called the Inner Civic Council. And through that organization, they began to lead this bus boycott. Now his father will be the focal point of a first-of-its-kind music performance by the Tallahassee Symphony and FAMU Concert Choir that Amanda Stringer with the Tallahassee Symphony says will honor the legacies of those who fought for equal rights. This one in particular speaks to Tallahassee's history and it speaks to our civil rights movement and I think it's really important for the symphony to be a part of Tallahassee's history even though we weren't around when this particular event happened. Something that FAMU Concert Choir Director Mark Butler says is important for his students to know about as well. They learned of uh, things that happened and whose shoulders they stand on, uh, learning of these two students and then having these, our two soloists to sing to represent the two students. I think it's a, a great historical moment and also a reenactment of, of what we have in this day and time um, compared to what was. Steele agrees and says the community needs to continue to learn the lessons from the past. Whatever medium we can use, whether through the arts, through history, through uh, teaching, whatever means we can, we need to continue to tell the story, keep the history uh, vibrant and bright before our, our eyes so that our young people can learn it. Kendall Brandt reporting there. Now there will be two chances for people to attend this show. One tomorrow at the Ruby Diamond from 8 to 10. The other on Sunday at FAMU's Lee Hall from 4 to 6 in the afternoon.